innocent, I tell you. Order in the court. Order in the court. All right. What's the charge? I caught him trying to sell water from a public drinking fountain. It's a lie. Tis the fountain of youth I have, and I risk me neck to get it. It all started in Washington, D.C., where I was invited to appear before the National Society for the Prevention of Old Age. They were sure I was the man for the job. The services of the Army were put at my disposal, and they provided me with the fastest means of transportation. In no time, I had me feet firmly planted on me destination. I had found the youth, so I knew the fountain must be close at hand. As I approached the jungle, I discovered I had unfortunately mislaid me compass. But being an expert in navigation, I was able to take me bearings by the stars. I wandered for days in the terrible heat, alone and starving with hunger, until a large tropical bird took a friendly interest in me. But he met with an unfortunate accident. And I never saw him again. Suddenly a storm broke, but a kindly creature offered me shelter. The rain soon stopped, but my troubles continued. Danger, beware of quicksand. The sand was quick, but I was quicker. I landed in the water. And it was lucky I was a powerful swimmer. Being known as a lover of animals, I soon attracted all the local wildlife. Hard man, baloney. At this point, without knowing it, I had come to the end of my journey. There it was, in all its splendor, the fountain of youth itself. I was just about to grab it when I was attacked by a horde of ferocious Indians. There must have been thousands of them. I was completely outnumbered, so I decided to take to the air. And in no time, I was back to civilization. And that's the truth, Your Honor. And this is it, the fountain of youth. And you good people will find a fountain like this in the lobby. Take a drink of it on the way out, and good health to you.